In this video, I'm gonna give my review and recommendations on taking CS598 Data Curation, a course offered in the Illinois MCS program. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video with me, my name is Will. I'm an engineering manager, an online computer science mastery student. And on my channel, I share my experiences with online learning and professional growth as a software developer. Today, I'm gonna to give an overview of CS598 Data Curation and give my personal opinions on the course. First, what's covered in the course. The course primarily focuses on the goals and activities related to data curation as a part of a larger picture when running a data analytics or data science program. All the topics tend to point back to how the work you complete will help support the many goals of data curation. The course doesn't cover many technical topics and you really only work with standard RDBMS, SQL table schemas, and XML formats. It's probably the most theory focused course I've taken yet in MCS. Next, let's talk about the time commitment. CS598 is both the easiest and the lightest course I've taken the MCS program so far, taking the crown previously held by CS513, Theory and Practice of Data Cleaning. Like all Coursera and MCS courses, there are weekly series of lectures that are quite light and consumable. There are content quizzes, but they aren't graded, so I didn't really waste my time with them. Lectures aren't terribly long either, probably a couple hours to commit a week. The course consists of three projects and a final project, they're all quite straightforward and easy to complete. I probably spent five to 10 hours on each. The final project requires a little bit more documentation and writing than the other earlier projects, but it was still very manageable when compared to the other final projects I've taken and courses elsewhere in the program. So what did I like about the course? To be honest, if this wasn't a 500 level course that met advanced coursework requirements and was such a light and easy course, I wouldn't even consider taking this course. I said this exact same thing about CS513. Not that it was all that exciting, but learning about XML DTDs was somewhat interesting and useful. That's the extent of the things I liked about this course, to be honest though. What didn't I like about CS598? I didn't have any complaints about the course content itself. I thought the professor presented the information well and the TA seemed helpful, although I never needed to reach out to them. To be honest, I have no idea how this is an advanced level 500 course because my high school chemistry class was harder, to be honest. Something is pretty broken with the MCS advanced course requirements in the course catalog, in my opinion. All right, let's wrap things up with ratings and final thoughts. First up, the difficulty rating with one being brain dead easy and 10 being near impossible. CS598 for the most part is simple and I would score the difficulty a two out of 10. Next is the grading rating with one being punishing and almost a guaranteed sub A and 10 being A's for days. Now, in my opinion, you have to actively try to not at least get 95% of this class, 10 out of 10 score. Next is the time commitment rating. One being you have no life outside of this course and 10 is free time for weeks on end. In this course, you can do the homework assignments well in advance and the actual lift of doing the project is minimal. 10 out of 10. Okay, for the last rating is the course utility or usefulness score. One being who would ever want to learn this and 10 being immediately applicable to work or desirable skills. This rating is quite subjective because if you're a data scientist or an engineer, some of the concepts would be useful and applicable, but for me, I'll personally never use the concepts taught in this course, so I give it a 2 out of 10. In my opinion, which is the same opinion I had for CS513, take this class if you want an easy semester and want to knock out a 500 level of course requirement, but don't expect to learn a ton or be blown away by the content. If you're interested in learning more about the courses in the Illinois MCS program, check out my short playlist on course reviews. See you in there.